Hello, today I wanted to introduce you to Coldpage's virtual numbers. So before I show you all of their features, I wanted to uh, walk you through the ordering process. So to order a virtual number, we need to click this button right here and name it, choose a country from which we want it to be from. So in my case, it's going to be Poland. And we need to choose a type of number, so we can choose either landline, toll free, or mobile number. So let's do mobile for now. We need to fill in all of the address details and upload uh, all of the needed documents. So if you don't have them right now, you can choose them later uh, to your account manager. Then we need to agree with the company policy and ask for a quote. So after that, your account manager will contact you within 48 hours with an offer. And so now let's go to the virtual numbers themselves. If you already have a virtual numbers, to edit them, you need to click right here. And here in the general tab, you can see uh, the number itself. Uh, you can name it however you would like. And here you can turn it off and on. And save the changes right here. So now let's move to the call step. So uh, here are the general settings. You can choose the call algorithm, so if you want uh, call page to call your consultants at the same time, you choose this option right here. You can also uh, choose uh, call page to call them in a sequence or in a random sequence. Uh, here you can enable and disable uh, call recordings, uh, as well as the prestige mode. Uh, down here you can choose the caller ID for the number, so uh, the number displayed on the consultant's phone, as well as the customer phone. So you can choose either the customer number to be shown on the consultant's phone, the call page number, uh, or the incoming number. Uh, you always have to save the changes right here. And now let's move to the playback tab. So in the playback tab uh, we have uh, all of the recordings for different cases. So you can either uh, turn on and off the default recordings or upload your own, or your own recording right here. And now let's move to the SMS settings. So uh, here you can change the, uh, the text of the message uh, that your client will receive after uh, calling you on this number. You can also turn off and on this message. Now let's move to the enabled countries. So here you can choose the countries you want to receive calls from. And you can save the changes right here. And now let's move to call queuing. So in this tab, we can create uh, three different scenarios for when your consultants are busy. So the call queuing option will allow your uh, customer to stay on the line when all of the consultants are busy. So here are the default recording, you can uh, also set up your own right here. And now the busy mode. Uh, the busy mode simply won't connect your client to a busy consultant. And the call scheduling option uh, will allow your customer to schedule a call for later by pressing zero. And then the system will create an ASAP call that will uh, connect the client to consultants when the consultant is available. Now let's move to the IVR tab. In this tab you can uh, set up your own IVR path and upload a suitable recording right here. So let's create an example path right here. I'll just quickly set it up and then ex say, uh, explain how it's going to work. Alright, so uh, in this case uh, I would upload uh, a message saying that uh, please press 1 if you want to uh, talk to Ola, please press 2 if you want to talk to Piotr. Or pl please press 1 uh, if you want to talk to sales, please, please press 2 if you want to talk to support team. And uh, the default option uh, will, connect, uh, will connect your customer to this consultant if he doesn't choose any number of, on the keyboard. So we can also direct it to a group of consultants. Uh, okay, so now let's move to the consultant step. 
so at this moment this number is not uh, assigned to any consultant so let's move to the my team tab And here we can assign the number to a consultant. Uh, so in this tab you will be able to view all of the consultants assigned to your number. You can set, set up their priority right here and uh, view their av availability uh, as well as their working days. To assign new consultants to the number you need to go to my team tab. And to assign a consultant uh, to a specific number, we need to edit them right here. Uh, go to the assignments tab and add a new virtual number. And now we have to set up the schedule for the consultants for that number. You can adjust it right here. And uh, you can save the changes right there. Now if we go back to the virtual numbers, edit our number, and here we can see the new consultants as well here. And so that's it for the virtual numbers, thank you for your time, and I hope that you're gonna enjoy using the virtual numbers.